Welcome to Attleboro Update. The Attleboro Recreation Department is trying out a new strategy for dealing with the numerous Canada geese in the area. Every year during the early spring months, Canada geese flock to Attleboro's many fields to graze. However, their droppings have become a constant problem for those who use the fields. For the last several years, the Recreation Department has made various attempts at scaring the birds away with limited success. They are trying out something new this year, and we spoke with Director Dennis Walsh to find out more about the new strategy. Hi, I'm Dennis Walsh, Recreation Director here in the City of Attleboro. Once again here this spring, we're running into a problem with the Canada geese at many of our facilities, and uh, we just wanted to get word out to the residents of Attleboro, if at all possible, please do not feed the geese. Do not feed the geese. It seems like a nice thing to do, but it really causes many problems for those who want to be using our athletic fields and other facilities. Uh, the Canada geese have feces of between a half and a pound and a half a day. And for them to be out on our athletic fields makes it real troublesome to then have the children out there playing. It's difficult. We have a sweeper, which we share with the park department, and we could go out on a field today, you know, this morning and, and sweep. And it works beautifully, and the field looks great, but um, you come back four hours later and the field's almost unplayable and then we have a lot of acreage out here with ball fields uh, throughout the city there are a number of fields that uh, have the geese uh, on them some notes from the commonwealth of massachusetts division of fisheries and wildlife if you go look at some of the regulations etc there they are not considered a mi migratory bird the ones that are here in attleboro they're a resident geese they, they have uh, basically taken up residence here in many other communities attleboro is not the only community having the Canada geese a problem. They offer many solutions, uh, some of which are easy to do, some of which are not. But the first suggestion is uh, adling uh, their eggs, which is to go find their nest and then take the egg and put them in some type like an oil type thing and then put the eggs back. And eventually, you know, they will not uh, come back and try to produce more geese uh, from that process. You need a special permit from that from Mass Wildlife and it, it's, it's a very difficult process to do. We have not uh, tried that yet. They also recommend, and, and it's people don't believe me when I tell this, but you can go look on their website, harassing of the geese is fine. Uh, obviously not hurting the geese, but harassing them. Some things could be uh, like a couple of pie pans and hit them together uh, to put up different things that would be a barrier for them, like a three-foot high chicken fence to, uh, to stop them from being able to walk through from one area to the other. Uh, we went out and asked for residents who may have specifically trained dogs to come and scare the geese away. That is an appropriate method by Mass Wildlife and Fisheries, is, is a scare tactic to scare the dogs. And we want a dog that's trained, specifically a border collie or some other type of herding dog, because they are trained to scare the geese, but not in fact catch the geese. Uh, we don't want to catch the geese. That brings in a whole nother realm of problems for us. We've had a great response to what we had in the paper. And we're finalizing now with uh, three or four uh, residents. We're going to choose a couple to go out and actually go to our different facilities at certain times of day, set times of day, and uh, scare the geese away. We found that it worked in years previous, but the past couple of years we haven't had a dog, and it's really uh, we found the problem has increased dramatically due to not having a dog available to do it. So that's why we mentioned that a Recreation Commission meeting that we'd be looking for someone to do it and, and the response has been unreal. Uh, I think I had f 15 or 16 phone calls. We have three people, like three or four people who have border collies or herding uh, type dogs. So uh, we were real busy last week with our youth golf day getting ready for that but we're going to finalize this week having some folks to go out. We'll give them a permit specified times of day and it would be in fields that are fenced in uh, so that you know there's no chance of the dog running off getting hurt etc. I did have one call from a concerned resident that it was uh, inhumane to treat the geese like that but I, I just want to reassure people that if you go to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Division of Fisheries and, and Wildlife it's actually a tactic that they recommend. Uh, the geese have become a nuisance and they're, they're seen as such because there are so many of them they've seen as such by mass fisheries and, and wildlife. With the number of folks who already called in uh, and the ones that have the uh, border collies or otherwise trained dogs for herding, uh, we are all set with that. We just need to get that uh, program into place now. There are just so many geese now that uh, it's 
almost impossible to keep up with them. So again, we ask residents, please, please, please do not feed the geese. And uh, I've instructed my guys, if, if, if you see folks doing that, please go over and uh, even though it's really not part of their job, please go over and ask the people not to feed their geese. I mean, we see people coming with loaves of bread, you know, all cut up into pieces and they throw it out there for the geese. And, uh, you know, it's very sweet, it's very nice, but it uh, ends up being a big uh, problem for kids that want to play, people that want to use our facilities, etc.